So, uh, like, uh, a lot of you guys have often asked me, uh, you know, like, what's ideally the project structure for, like, big uh, open source projects and, like, they have src folder and they have like a bunch of folders inside that they have docs and they have tests so i'm gonna build this uh, project uh, pretty much like how big uh, projects are built the same kind of folder structure uh, and like uh, structuring it uh, the same kind of way uh, so um, and i'm gonna do it uh, completely from scratch so make sure that you note down this url cb.lk slash real world slash node sql if you go there you uh, like at this point of time when i'm starting to build this video this is an empty repository uh, every step that i'm going to cover here like start right from npm init to everything is uh, going to be uh, a separate commit here so you should be able to you know like uh, get an idea of the steps that were involved in uh, getting to this uh, one by one um, uh, we'll start off with of course uh, you know with a npm init uh, command and that's gonna create my first uh, package.json give it a package name a version description uh, a real world node.js uh, project okay something like this and um, yeah maybe src slash server.js would be my entry point when i build it uh, my git repository it's automatically taking that and okay there we go so uh, First things, of course, I'm gonna need uh, here is I'm gonna need uh, um, Express, uh, of course, right? Because that's what my uh, package framework is gonna be uh, using. Uh, apart from that, uh, I'll be using um, uh, so for now, uh, we will be using SQLize and if you're using uh, mysql as the database then uh, we're going to involve uh, mysql2 also as the uh, db driver now uh, the project that i'm building it can be uh, built using sqlite as the database or postgresql as the database too if you're using sqlite then you might need the sqlite 3 uh, driver or if you're using postgres you might need pg and pg uh, h store packages okay uh, what we need is uh, mysql right now for this case uh, mysql2 and let's let it just you know install that stuff i'm using node.js version 10.13 so if you're using node version 8 or 10 or anything above 10 uh, this whatever i'm building should be valid for you as well and i think uh, there you go so uh, we have got our stuff ready let me just uh, create a git ignore file here so that you know things that uh, no, not really needed. They're not going to the Git repository. I'm going to add uh, in Node.js, uh, and, or let me just uh, create a new file dot git ignore. Um, add uh, node modules into that. And uh, I'll add uh, a dot idea folder because uh, you know that's like about the uh, files that WebStorm saves. And you might add dot VS Code folder that's the files that Visual Studio Code saves. You can remove these things, not needed. Um, okay, so let's uh, get down to actually like building stuff. Uh, we'll create uh, first of all a folder called SRC here. Uh, this is where all of our source code will go. Why I'm creating a folder called SRC separately is that so that if we write unit tests or we write docs, we can have separate folders for that. So inside SRC, we'll create our first file, which is going to be our server.js. Uh, okay. Um, this, of course, is where I'm going to do my, uh, you know, const express equal to require express stuff and like uh, const app equal to express i'm going to call it and then uh, app dot listen uh, to a particular port say i'm going to use uh, 7788 as a port and uh, i'm going to write principle.log 
server started on http uh, localhost uh, 7788 right uh, that's that now I'm going to create like the folder structure like this. I'm going to create a directory for controllers. I'm going to create a directory for uh, models and I'm going to create a directory for uh, roots. Okay. So controllers, models, roots, and uh, stuff that I need. And I don't need like a views folder because uh, there's no HBS or handlebars kind of stuff involved here. So let's take a look at the API that we need to build uh, here and the objects that we need here. We need like user profile, article, comments, and tag, these kind of stuff. And uh, we need like these endpoints. So let's talk about these endpoints. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is uh, inside roots, I'll create a directory called API uh, so that my root structure follows the structure of the URL, okay? Inside API, I'm going to create a file called index.js. Okay, so I'm going to do a top top down design. So I'm going to like uh, start off from the top of the uh, domain tree and go down to the leaves. So uh, first of all, uh, this should contain uh, some stuff like this. So So I'm going to require a router from Express and I'm going to create a root equal to a uh, router, uh, right? And I'm going to do module dot exports equal to this root object, right? And uh, um, so we'll write all the other things, but in server.js, I'm going to do, first of all, I need to parse uh, post bodies. Uh, for post requests, we need to do is uh, app dot use uh, express dot json and uh, app dot use express dot url encoded with extended uh, true and then uh, start adding the roots. So app dot use um, for slash API root. I'm gonna do is uh, require dot slash root slash api okay uh, now in the api root uh what i'm gonna do is like create uh the other js files so i need a api slash users root i need a user uh, root i need um, profiles and i need um, articles um okay and i guess i need uh, uh, some stuff I need like a comments inside articles so what I'm gonna do is create it like this I'm gonna create a JavaScript file for user uh, and um, I'm gonna write uh, this thing inside user.js uh, copy user.js uh, to users uh, then uh, tags Profiles, okay, so top level roots that we have here. We have got like API slash users API slash user Then we have got API slash profiles and you got API slash uh, Tags with articles. What I'm gonna do is I will create another folder here Articles which uh, so I'm gonna take the user root paste it here call it index.js uh, and inside articles, I'm going to add uh, another JavaScript file called commands.js. Okay, so here's like the structure we have. Uh, we've got profile styles, user, user, and then there is a separate articles folder inside which there's comments and there's index.js. Okay, so uh, what we will uh, do is uh, in my uh, src slash root slash api slash index.js in that uh, root i'm gonna write root dot use uh, slash users uh, require dot slash users uh, copy this stuff for like all the other things so do it same for user do the same for profiles do the same for so tags and uh, do the same for articles okay 
so if there is like uh, some root which goes like you know slash article slash comments uh, so deal with this inside article slash index dot js not here okay so we don't want to deal with this root directly from here because that's like one level extra deeper so i'm just gonna fetch the article slash index dot js here and any sub directory level stuff that exists inside articles that i will write inside the index dot js here so i will do is uh first of all um uh root dot use slash uh comments i'm gonna use uh dot slash comments dot js for this okay so uh like only require one level deep roots not two level deep ones two level deep ones are the responsibility of this root itself okay so yeah i mean uh that's how we're gonna go with that so let's start off with some fake responses okay so uh, what i'm gonna do is um let's start off with uh this thing uh first if i uh send a uh, check out all the get requests so if i send a get request to api slash user i'm supposed to get an user object right this is what i'm supposed to get so api slash user api slash user if somebody sends a get request so root dot get slash and uh what i'm gonna do is here res dot send and pass that object right add a to do uh send current user but uh, for now i'm just gonna do uh res dot send uh this user object okay uh let me just uh run this project let me just add a configuration uh node.js configuration uh yeah with version 10 javascript file src slash serve.js okay apply run server apply apply okay so there we go start server oh so i guess we got a bit of a problem somewhere server.js api require root slash api let's go to root slash api Everything seems okay to me. I'll try to find out what's the problem. Ah, the comments route is actually empty. So, I mean, that's fine. I'll just paste the basic scaffold here and then run our server. Server started on local 7788. So, let's go there and let's go to slash user. Uh, so, sorry, slash uh, API slash user. And we're supposed to get uh, this object user email jake and jwt token this is the object that i'm supposed to get so it's uh, working pretty much the way my api is uh, supposed to be designed so let me just you know uh, start off by you know creating uh, the fake responses like this uh, so i'm going to hard code all this stuff like if i send a request to a uh, user i'm going to do this dot send and i'm going to copy paste the response from here so i'm going to create the fake ones first and uh, in the next video, what I'm going to do is uh, start working on the model layer and create each of the models. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to actually uh, build each uh, fake response. Uh, that fake response part, uh, I think I'll not put that in the video. I mean, when the next video starts, uh, all the fake responses are already going to be there because it will take me some time to type all the fake responses and uh, like uh, doing that on a video is going to waste your time and my time of course right so i'll just put the fake responses make a comment for that on github you get to know what i did in this step okay